Okay, here we go. First blog of the journey. This is a 24 hour National Three Peaks Challenge. I'm going with him. And a bunch of other lunatics. So I'll be in good company. And um, we're doing this for a chap called Daryl, who I have great admiration for, even though I never met, but that doesn't actually matter. Um, he took the alternative route in his treatment for cancer, and that takes bravery. Um, you know I'm a massive advocate for the use of CBD oil and natural remedies to work with the body. But guess what? It don't always work, like any other medication. However, he was looked after by St Elizabeth's Hospice. So, for what they did for him, and full respect for what they continue to do for many, many others who decide to take this journey, no judgement, what a wonderful bunch of people they are, we're going to do the National Three Peak Challenge. And I'll be totally honest, right now, I'm shitting myself. If you've seen the weather reports, and you'll be seeing the weather later, if my phone works in sub-zero temperatures, um, yeah, it's, it's looking a bit dicey out there. However, what's the point of doing something if it doesn't actually scare you a little bit? So, uh, we're setting off early, it's about 4.30 in the morning now, and we're gonna get up to Scotland as soon as possible, get to our bunkhouse, get chilled out, eat like crazy, good excuse to eat. I have not had a glass of wine for a week. That's how serious I am. Honestly, I really need some wine. But I'm fine, I'm okay with that. Uh, anything else to tell you? Not really now, I don't wanna bore you, so just hold tight for a few more blogs coming later. Join me on this journey, and maybe this will inspire you to take a step out of the norm and do something that challenges you. Whatever it is, speak in public, um, go deep water diving somewhere, um, jump out of a parachute, um, deal with spiders, um, eat food you've never eaten before, uh, make contact with a family relative that you haven't spoken to and you've held a grudge against or they've held a grudge against you. Go hug them, go, go do something that pushes you out of your normal comfort zones because if you're not growing, yeah, you're stagnating. If you're stagnating, guess what? You go mouldy and then things start to fall off. Don't do that mentally, physically or in your soul. I love you all. Peace, love and light. Back soon. Mwah.